Um, oh, Adventure Mate says, how many servos can I get to work with the Speedy B F405 V3? Do I solder the servos onto the Speedy B or do I need an adapter? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, just sorry, I'm just looking at my live stream stats. They're being a little flaky. Uh, anyway, we'll keep going. Um, I don't know the max number of servos it can support. That's going to depend on the number of timers. I believe that servos require timers. And I, I don't know how many uh, timers are available. Certainly, you can do one servo per motor output if you're not using those motor outputs for motors. So the Speedy BF405, let's look. Certainly, it has at least four. Does it have eight? Speedy BF405. Mm. How many motor outputs? Oh my goodness gracious. Four UARTs. How many motors? Come on. Eight motor support. Okay. So the Speedy BF405 supports up to eight motors. That would make me think that it supports at least eight servos. Um, most flight controllers today are designed to be able to do D-shot on all the motor outputs, which means each motor output has a dedicated timer. That's a requirement. So if you have four motors on a quadcopter, you should be able to get at least four servos on the remaining four motor outputs, I think. That's not 100% guarantee, but I think that's a reasonable assumption. In addition, you could get an additional servo on the LED strip output, which also always has a dedicated timer. So I think you're going to get at least five servos and four motors, or nine servos and no motors, or anything in between. Um, as far as the wiring, you're definitely going to need a separate voltage regulator to power the servos. I, the, each, the servos can pull more power than the voltage regulator on the flight controller can give. So you absolutely need a dedicated voltage regulator. How big should it be? I don't really know. How many amps is a safe bet to power a servo? Like when you size a voltage regulator, how many amps per servo do you, do you spec? Anybody tell me in the chat. Um, Blunty points out that on some cheaper flight controllers, they use BitBang D-Shot, which doesn't have a timer for all the motors. Blunty, you don't happen to know if that's, I mean, is that true for the Speedy B? I don't think so. I don't but, know, because uh, a lot of the targets set BitBang D-Shot to auto instead of off, and it's hard to tell by looking at the target, because I was going to look at the dump to find out. Mm, interesting. But you can't tell if it's on or off, it's set to auto, so it may trigger, it may not. Well, that's why I say I think it's a reasonable assumption, but I don't know for sure. There's my hitch. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the other thing you used to see, and I don't think this is common anymore, is you'd have an eight-motor flight controller, but only the first four motors had D-shot capability, which, like, that's dumb. No one would do that today. But there was a transition period where D-shot was relatively new, and not all flight controllers fully supported it. Um as far as setting up and wiring the servos, I suggest you look at this video, Betaflight 4.3 Servos tab, complete walkthrough, part 14. And uh, I'll put a link to that in the chat as well. That will tell you about how to configure and wire it up. But that's gonna be a little more detail that I'm gonna go into here on the stream. <clears throat> 